Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of What Remains of Edith Finch. Now I know I meant to be up on the staircases there, but my audio kind of freaked out as I came down, so I just had to check if I was recording my audio properly, and it didn't work. So it, I only took a couple of sets, not really say anything too important, just something about a mother. Down to the basement basement once. Once. Carrying packages. Okay. Um... That was really loud. I think my audio is a bit messed up, but you know what? It's so good. I thought maybe I thought she was hiding presents. presents. It turned out it turned she was out hiding a lot more than that. What the hell? Have you got a bunker down here? Hang on, wait. Let me just fix my audio real quick, guys. There we go. All right, I'm all good I now. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. This way, lit. What the fuck? It's like there's a nuclear a bomb. All these stories. This is enough food to survive, like a. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. This, like, whoa. So, this is where Walter went? Yeah, this is where Walter went. What the hell? Wait, can I? I can't get down. Whoa, hello. Jeez. 2005. That's pretty impressive. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. Jesus. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive the week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today, I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. 1976. But if you wait long enough, you'll be used to anything. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. So, does he do this every day at 12 a.m.? And then one day, everything just... stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while well, I still can. Why can't you just go up that way? Why are you going this way? You got a lot of books, dude. Those are all books, Jesus Christ. Did you? I know it's out there somewhere. This guy, did this guy tunnel all Whatever this out? Barbara. Oh, that's right. Walter was Barbara's bro younger brother. Whoa. Guess he's like trying to I'm find telling. out. What happened, I guess? You're gonna take us. Maybe this Odd. is all a mistake. Rainbow Six Siege Sledge it. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. I feel like that is what's gonna kill you. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it. 
especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one year of life. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Oh no! Jesus! He got run out by a train? So that's why he went down here. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Oh, damn! I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. So, he came down here to try to live as long as he can away from the curse, and as soon as he went outside, he died. Damn. Oh. Tried keeping himself sane by doing this. Oh, man. Oh, dude. That's, like, actually upsetting. Hmm. He lived 30 years and maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. He lived 30 years down here without being attacked by the curse and then as soon as he leaves he but dies. But she never told me about an uncle under the house. I can only imagine what else she was. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Trying to bury something that's still alive. I can't see what's going on. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself <sighs> and found out what happened to everyone else. It's actually a really sad story. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. Aw, oh, man. What is that? So I just accidentally walk off. Okay. Cool. Good to know. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. It's not a good thing to say. But I thought you should know about your family. Wait, so is, the, is she writing this to a kid? That's the insane. That you're a part of. That's to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. This is insane. She's writing to a kid. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. Guess I had to. It's a family thing. Going back up to the... Don't get me wrong, this is an amazing game, but it's really upsetting. I think it's just... What I'm Can getting from it is... The house? That history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. Any of it seems possible. What I'm getting from this is that... It's it's kind of like it's a it's a it's like a moral story is what this game is. This is what I'm picking up. It's from what I've gathered. Yet again, this is only the third episode, but what I'm gathering from it is you need to appreciate who is around you and understand their story and understand their life. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long we've just gotten used to it. And and that'll happen. That that will definitely happen, especially because. With, with the world we live in now, What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? It, it, especially with the world that we live in now, so much death happens around us and it, we just eventually get used to it. 
But when it's someone really, really close to us, we can't handle it. And I guess if you don't know anybody in your family, you wouldn't really feel an emotional connection. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Aw, oh, seriously? There are pets the that died? Were mine, and two had been my fault. There are pet cemeteries as well? This is actually upsetting. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Molly Finch, born December 11th, 1937, died 13th, December 13th, 1947. Calvin Finch, born April 25th, 1950, died September 12th, 1961. Wow, 11. Sven Finch, 17th of 1950, August the 26th of 1964. Wow. Finch. She was 90 years old, that lady. No, sorry, not 90. No way, yeah, she would have been 90. Around there. Walter Finch, we just found out about him. Living underneath the house, and then Barbara. Wow, this is actually really upsetting. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. Well, yet again, it was her dad, My so. mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Is that the house? You're not telling me that's the house, right? Because that is... I don't know if you guys can hear, but my... There's Edie rain going said outside. she dreamed about the old house every night. That's the house. Holy shit. These people are seriously cursed. I couldn't imagine this. Like, I wouldn't w wish this upon my worst enemy. A family curse. The east side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Oh. So about the rain, guys. This, you guys can probably hear that. Gregory. He was one year old, that kid. Gregory. Sam. Gus. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. I guess she's still talking about her mom. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. I guess it would be hard for you, for a mother to tell her daughter that everybody she knows is dead. Even everybody she doesn't know is dead. That she has a family curse. It's all very... Now, if she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. 22 weeks pregnant. You shouldn't even be on this tree right now. Oh, this girl's got a death sentence. Okay, how do I get up? Oh, there's a ladder there. Again, this would be very. If I, if this would happen, I, I wouldn't. To Sam, but. 
I think he and my mom had a lot in common. I would have never have tried to come along to a house like this. Just too many memories. They were both pretty intense. Hunter? Question mark? U.S. Marine. I salute you, shit, sir. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Perfect. Oh. It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Please just take the damn picture. Language. I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. Uh. I'm going to take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. So I guess I need to take a photo You're right, of the Dad. It's starting to clear up. It's still freezing, though. Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Hmm. Hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. Wow. So I do need to take a photo of the I'm just right saying, thing. I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Wow. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Your grandpa Sven taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. Dad. Good eyes, Don. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Yourself squared up, elbows down, like we practiced. Whenever you're ready. Great shot, Don. I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Totally normal, Doc. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about- Dad! Oh! Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Mm -hmm. 
Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. 